2021 BMW M550R Review, The Sweet Spot. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. If you want the fastest, brawniest, most powerful BMW 5 Series, buy the M5 Competition, or better yet, the M5 CS. The problem with both of those vehicles, though, is that they are extremely pricey. The M5 Competition starts at $110,000, and the CS will run you about $142,000. An alternate option is the updated 2021 BMW M550 iX Drive, which offers nearly all the power and performance you want in an M5 competition for a fraction of the price. This version costs just $76,800, has the same torque figure as the M5 Comp, and feels just as capable in the corners. As the lone V8 option in the class, fuel economy isn't great, its two nearest competitors are six-cylinder mild hybrids. And although the sub $80,000 MSRP is nice compared to the nearest M5, it's still more expensive than the nearest Audi and Mercedes to start. The entire BMW 5 Series range is understated, even the high output M5 doesn't look all that crazy. And that's especially true of the M550i. While other newer BMW models, like the 4 Series, have opted for much bolder styling, the M550i keeps things simple. We appreciate the normal-sized kidney grille, sleek LED headlights, and the subtle matte chrome accents surrounding the grille and lower vents. The 20-inch, double-spoke wheels, a $1,100 option, were the same finish as the grille and pop alongside the extremely pretty Aventura in red paint, $1,950. The back of the M550i caps off the clean, cohesive styling with black trim around the taillights, a very subtle spoiler atop the trunk lid, and a black diffuser that surrounds the dual exhaust tips. Cognac-colored Dakota leather covers the seats and the lower portion of the dash, Napa leather is an extra $1,000, and Tetragon aluminum trim adorns the central portion of the dash. That silvery trim piece looks okay, but one of the available matte wood finishes would better suit this car. Without the M5 Competition's optional Silverstone leather buckets that we love so much or even high-end Napa leather on this particular car, the M550i feels like a middling option in the comfort department. The standard Dakota leather seats aren't that soft, nor are they anywhere near as form-fitting or as high-end as what alternatives like the Mercedes-AMG E53 and Audi S6 offer. Pop the drive mode selector into Comfort or Eco and the suspension's adaptive damper soften just enough to make the M550i amenable over most pavement. The 20-inch wheels and low-profile tires don't absorb blows well, opt for the base 19-inch wheels if you want a cushier setup, but the ride never feels backbreaking in either of those two modes. The 5 Series feels spacious from the driver's seat with 38.8 inches of headroom and 41.4 inches of legroom. Only the Genesis G80 Sport has more headroom, 39, 4 inches, while the Audi S6 offers slightly less leg space, 41.3 inches. The back seat is plenty roomy too, with 37.5 inches of headroom and 36.5 inches of legroom. Ingress and egress are a little trickier than in the E53 or G80 due to the 5 Series more sloped roof, but it's a minor complaint in the larger scope. Cargo space is another strong suit of the M550i. The 18.7 cubic feet of space in the trunk are more than any of the alternatives. The Genesis G80 Sport, 13.1 cubes, Mercedes AMG E53 sedan 13.1 cubes, and Audi S6, 13.7 cubes, are each noticeably worse. The M550i comes with the same infotainment setup standard across BMW's top-end models, a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, a 12.3-inch central touchscreen, and a rotary controller in the center console that makes it easy to manage it all. The latest iDrive 7.0 user interface is here too, and it's as easy to use as ever. The clean home screen layout and crisp graphics make the setup easy to parse, while the touchscreen reacts with smartphone-like quickness. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto both come standard as well, and it's as simple as setting up the connection one time and hopping in the driver's seat to active any instance after that. If you want wireless charging, a head-up display, gesture control, and a power rear shade, as equipped on this car, they cost an extra $1,900 as part of the executive package. We use gesture control sparingly in our test, Doing the hitchhiker thumb movement to change songs just looks silly, but it worked surprisingly well, as did the swirly finger movement for volume controls. 
And with the $3,400 Bowers & Wilkins Diamond Surround Sound System, the audio is bumping. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.